Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Nurse on the Go podcast. In today's episode, we're going to dive into what the top few hardest parts of nursing school are, and then I'm going to discuss with you guys how to overcome them if you ever find yourself in a similar situation. Definitely stay tuned if you want to learn more. The first hardest part of nursing school is how expensive nursing school is. So what I mean by that is you can't work as much when you're in nursing school because nursing school will definitely be one of your top priorities. And just knowing that you have to learn how to budget your money. You just can't keep buying so many things in your personal life and in regards to nursing school and not expect that to have an effect on your bank account and how much money in the future you'll you'll be able to spend. So with nursing school, you definitely go into it not expecting that you will be spending so much money, but you definitely will. This is a rude awakening that I'll be giving you right now. Majority of the things that you'll be needing for nursing school, such as your stethoscope, your scrubs, if you need anything such as immunizations, if you need to get blood work done, if you need to get a blood pressure cuff, every single thing, while most of them that you need to purchase in nursing school, you'll have to get out of your own pocket. And the problem with that is that with nursing school, since it is your top priority, you won't have as much time to, let's say, have a full-time job, work 40 hours of a week. If you do that, oh my goodness, you are one of a kind. But if you're someone who definitely has to put your job in the back burner or maybe work part-time, you definitely will see an impact on how much you can spend. So a way you can overcome this is definitely give yourself a limit to spend each week. So a way you can do this is let's say you make $500 a week from your job. What you can do then is put away $300 into your savings account and then give yourself $200 to spend during that week. And then you can write down where you want to allocate each amount of money. So let's say you can put $100 to food or $50 to food, and then you can say $50 will go to nursing school, $10 for gas. I don't know. You could just design it to how you see yourself spending money. And definitely if you need to spend money for necessary things, then you can allocate it to that. $200 was just a ballpark and a random number, but depending on how much income you make, you definitely want to put some away into a savings account so that you always have insured money that you have waiting for you, but then you also want to have spending money. The second hardest part of nursing school is that you will definitely need to learn how to time manage if you don't know how to already, but time management is really hard, especially during nursing school. So what happens is you will have such a big workload. You're going to have not only just workload in one class, but you're going to have many other classes. You're going to have labs, you're going to have clinical, you're going to have virtual simulations. You're just going to have so many things that you need to get done. And let's just say just because you have one exam in your pathophysiology class, that does not mean your other professor is not going to give you another exam in your microbio. And that also doesn't mean that your clinical instructor is just going to remove clinical on that upcoming Friday just because you have two exams no they're gonna want you to time manage your time make sure that you study early enough and be prepared for all those things they're not gonna say oh yeah you had a family event oh okay so let me just move the exam for you and everyone else is gonna write it on this day no they're gonna say you have to be here for this time if you're not you're getting a zero so learning how to time manage your time i definitely cannot fathom how people with children and people with full-time jobs can organize their time so well and still have nursing school and save some time to study that is so amazing to me and round of applause to them because that is so great that they're able to time manage and really it's something that is just so difficult for some including me at times because you just have so much going on that you tend to prioritize some classes or you tend to put some and forget about them or you prioritize some assignments and you just don't in others so it's definitely important to focus on what you need to be focusing on for upcoming events that are coming sooner rather than later so another thing with that when it comes to time management is 
I would tell you to evenly proportion your time for one class and another, but realistically, some of your classes are going to be more demanding and harder than other classes. So let's say you have an English class, you just have to write three essays during the whole entire term versus a pathophysiology class and you have to write a test every single week. There you see that there is much more of a higher demand in your patho class than there is for your English class. So what you can do there is write your essay earlier on and then have save more time to focus on studying for your exams. All about allocating your time specifically to the classes that require more of your attention. And then definitely do not ignore those other classes. Still put your 100% into your English class and all of your other classes, including labs and clinical, etc. Just definitely focus on putting your time where it belongs. Another thing that can help you with time management is to get a planner and these will save your life. By getting a planner, you can write down what you wanna do during not only the day, you can say, wake up this time, eat this time, study for this class this time to this, take breaks at set time. And not only can you do that, but you can also write down when you have assignments due, you can see it on your planner that you have an exam coming up in a week so you can then prepare for that and it's just right there in front of your face so you won't just forget about it or neglect it. So it's right there for you and planners will save your so life. Get a planner, make sure that you allocate your time depending on which class it is and definitely try your best to be as organized as you can. Have different binders for different classes. Don't just throw your papers in every room. Make sure that you have a nice compact area wherever you're gonna be studying that has everything that you need papers, pencils, pens, and just have everything organized and then it'll motivate you to get your work done and you won't just be a mess in general. You'll have everything ready and prepared for yourself. It is not over yet. <laughs> the third thing that I find is one of the top hardest parts of nursing school is that nursing school does not just give you a question on an exam that is, oh, what color is the sky? And then you can pick from that. It is going to give you NCLEX style questions because they really, at the end of the day, want to prepare you for what the NCLEX is. So I remember starting my second year of university and that was where I really saw that nursing school question. First year, anatomy, physiology, it's pretty self-explanatory. You see the question, you have to pick one of the responses. But once you get into this nursing school classes and you see those questions that will come up that are just not easy they're very hard you have to truly understand the content and truly understand what you've studied to effectively answer that question so tips i want to give you to overcome this hard part is to make sure when answering those questions if it says oh so and so has a very high fever they're coughing their heart rate is super high and then you have oh and they also just stubbed their foot one coming into the hospital. Your first attention should definitely not be going to the stubbed foot. It should be going to the fever, the high temperature, the fact that they have an extremely high heart rate. So definitely where you answer your questions should be critical care questions and questions that are life and death should be your first response to saving that patient's life. So by answering that question, you know exactly what they want to know. They want to know what will you do in this scenario to save that person's life. So by understanding that there will be NCLEX style questions and preparing yourself for that. I really feel like to best prepare yourself for NCLEX style questions is to do a ton, all caps, a ton of practice questions or just make your own questions. Just familiarize yourself with answering questions that are nitty gritty and they wanna get down to what will you do first in this situation? And they are really definitely questions that you want to understand in the content. So don't just memorize your textbook and memorize your notes and slideshows. You wanna make sure that you know exactly what you would do in this situation and what would you do if a patient comes to you with so-and-so symptoms. Another thing that really helps with preparing yourself is to definitely do Quizlets. If you don't know what Quizlets are, they're just online flashcards and there it's an online place where you can do test questions with the flashcards you already have. And it's just an amazing place to make you understand the questions and just by continuously repeating it to yourself and answering those questions it definitely makes yourself familiar with those questions and notes that you've written down so another type of flashcards too is to physically have the flashcards in your hands i know many people in nursing school and my classmates love to have flashcards and just go through them on their own so definitely flashcards are a great way to familiarize yourself with NCLEX style questions and your notes 
And just keep in mind though that by having flashcards, it does take lots of time to handwrite or to even write it on Quizlet. So to save time, definitely start writing on your flashcards while you're studying those notes and going through that week of notes so you always have it. And you're not just bombarded the week before the exam focusing too much of your time on writing those flashcards. So that is the third hardest part of nursing school. Now, the fourth hardest part of nursing school is kind of forgetting to take care of yourself. Definitely during nursing school, you will have test after test, exam after exam, assignment after assignment, clinical, lab, repeat. You're just gonna be repeating, 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 and you're really not gonna have a little bit of time to say, oh, maybe I should stop here and focus on my self-care. So that's why I'm telling you right now that you must take initiative and get your planner and write down, this day I'm going to paint my nails, this day I'm going to go see my friends and family. So do things that you enjoy. If that's working out, if that's baking, if that's going shopping, take that time out of your week, of your days, and just do something. Even five minutes is perfectly okay, up to three hours. I don't care how long it takes you. Just know that you should be focusing on your self-care because what tends to happen if you continuously engage in stressful activities is it may lead you to burnout and burnout is just when you reach your complete overload of stress and you just reach a point where you just feel like you cannot do anything anymore because it's just too much so definitely by doing self-care you will not reach that point in nursing school taking care of yourself taking care of your mental health your physical health your emotional health and just really being there for yourself you're your number one advocate and you're your number one person who knows how you're feeling in a situation so if you ever find yourself leading to a point where you're getting extremely stressed just take a minute step back and see where you can stop and just have some time for your own self-care and focus on your health okay guys i finally have the fifth hardest part of nursing school i promise you there's definitely more but i just had to find the top five things that are so hard in nursing school and the fifth hardest part is just having a lack of motivation to continue at times like i said in the previous hardest part you're just going to be repeating the same thing, studying, going to school, clinical, lab, you know the drill. So you will find yourself at times that you are just so extremely tired, exhausted, depleted, and you're just finding yourself so tired that you really just don't want to do anything. You're like, you have zero motivation to continue studying. You just don't want to do anything. You just feel so tired. So what I recommend for you in that situation is to like i said in the previous one just maybe take some time to yourself and another thing with that is just remind yourself why you began in the beginning okay remind yourself why you started nursing school remind yourself how excited you were your very first day of nursing school and how you really just want to see yourself as a nurse picture yourself assisting people who look up to you you will be their primary caregiver and at one day you will change so many people's lives you will save so many people's lives and it's just a few steps away okay so just because you're going through a hurdle right now doesn't mean that your whole nursing school journey is over i promise you so many people now who are nurses have been in our shoes where We just feel extremely tired and stressed and we just have no desire to continue. But I promise you, it takes passion. It takes energy and fuel to get through it. And I promise you, the time will go by so fast. Just keep yourself occupied and busy and focusing on yourself and nursing school and you will definitely get through it, okay? Definitely be motivated and have a good support group and a good group of people around you that are continuously motivating you and they want to see you finish. So that's another important thing is to surround yourself with just amazing people that want to see you succeed and finish nursing school thriving. So that is it guys for the top five hardest parts of nursing school. (laughs) I really want to tell you that there aren't any more but there definitely will be and there definitely will be things that you will experience coming through your nursing school journey that I definitely haven't listed. So keep a lookout for that. And if you ever have any questions on how you should deal with a certain situation, if you're coming across something that you find very stressful or that you're struggling in, feel free to DM me at my Instagram at the nurse on the go podcast. And if you just want anything to look at that is motivational and educational for your nursing school journey, my Instagram is definitely the place to go. Thank you so much guys for tuning into today's podcast podcast. I hope to see you all next week in a brand new episode. Talk to you soon. The Nurse on the Go.